an exponential equation is any equation where there is a variable in the exponent. An example of an exponential equation is 2 times 3 to the power of 2x plus 10 equals 50. Here, the variable x is in the exponent. This is an exponential equation. There is only one value for x that would make the left side of this equation equal to 50. You can find this value in four simple steps. Let's do it. To solve this equation, the first of the four steps is to isolate the exponential factor. In this case, we will be isolating 3 to the 2x power. This can be accomplished by first subtracting 10 from both sides of the equation, resulting in 2 times 3 to the 2x power equals 40, and then dividing both sides of the equation by 2, leaving us with 3 to the 2x power equals 20. Now that 3 to the 2x power is isolated, it's by itself on one side of the equation, I can move on to step two. With the exponential part of the equation isolated, the second step is to take the logarithm of both sides. I'll take the log of 3 to the 2x power and the log of 20. We should not actually evaluate any of the logarithms yet. That won't happen until the fourth and final step. Step three is to use the properties of logarithms to eliminate the exponent. Here we are using the property of logarithms that state if you're the, taking the logarithm of something raised to a power, you can move the exponent to the front of the logarithm. If you have the log of x to the n power, you can move the n to the front of the logarithm and rewrite that as n times the log of x. In this problem, we are taking the log of 3 to the 2x power, so we can take the 2x and move it to the front of the logarithm, rewriting that as 2x times the log of 3 equals the log of 20. At this point, the variable is no longer in the exponent, and our equation is now much easier to solve, which we will do in the next and final step. The fourth and final step is to use algebra to isolate the variable. Here, our variable x is being multiplied by 2 and the log of 3. So I can isolate x by simply dividing both sides of the equation by 2 and a factor of the log of 3. On the left side of the equation, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and the log of 3 divided by the log of 3 is 1, and I'm left with x equals the log of 20 over 2 times the log of 3. I'll now use a calculator to approximate this value, and I find it to be irrational, but it is approximately 1.3634 depending on the situation and on how precise your answer needs to be, you'll choose how many places to round to. In this problem, I rounded to four decimal places. I can check my answer by substituting 1.3634 back into the original equation. Realize that this will not check out exactly because we rounded our solution off to four decimal places. However, the value of 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times our solution, 1.3634 plus 10, will be relatively close to 50. Here, I found it to be 49.9985, close enough for me to be satisfied that we have the correct answer to our original exponential equation. The solution, x equals 1.3634.